I'm often mistaken for Teresa Caputo, the Long Island medium who stuns audiences by talking to dead people. Hello, in my life, that's called marriage. I don't believe in psychics. I think they're all phonies. I went to see a psychic. I rang the doorbell. She said, who is it? I said, that's it. <laughs> a lot of things in my life I don't understand. First and foremost is my husband, Roger, who asked the most pointless questions. He's getting in the car. He says to me, I'm going to the Home Depot. Do you need anything? Oh, yeah, let me get my list. Could you pick me up some crowbars and some mulch? Honestly, look at me. Do I look like anybody who needs something from the Home Depot? Just once, just once, I wish you would say, I'm going to Sephora. Do you need anything? <laughs> of course, if you said that, that's a whole other set of problems I could talk about. A lot of things in my life I don't understand. In the newspaper last Sunday, there was a flyer for the dollar store. Why? It's not like there's going to be a sale, people. Everything's already a dollar. What, they think that the people who go to the dollar store are discriminating consumers? I don't think so. They're too cheap to go to Hallmark and pay $3.50 for a gift bag. They'd rather go pay 99 cents for a gift bag even though it says happy birthday in Korean. And what about this? I go to the eye doctor, he dilates my pupils, then he wants me to pick out frames for my glasses. <laughs> Hello? There are a lot of people walking around looking like Elton John for that very reason. <laughs> and most of them are women. And the office staff is all in on it. They don't tell you the truth. They don't say, Mrs. Godwin, you look like Johnny Depp wearing those Willy Wonka glasses. No, they say, oh, it takes 10 years off of you, 10 years my eye, maybe seven. I oh, get this, J.C. Penney, J.C. Penney carries a line of women's clothing called Sag Harbor. I'm no marketing expert, but I would never use the word Sag in any line of women's clothing. That is what we are trying to fight against. What's next, Varicose Vein Valley? Yeah, I'm wearing Sag Harbor on top, Varicose Vein Valley on the bottom. Put me in assisted living right now. So I recently took a cruise to the Bahamas. Anybody done that? Yeah? I was on Royal, Carib uh, Royal Caribbean's Gluttony of the Seas. And uh, guess what movie they were showing? Captain Phillips. That's right. The story of Somali pirates who overtake a ship. Just what I want on a cruise, to have the bejeebies scared out of me. I went to the captain, I said, what, you couldn't get the Titanic or the Poseidon Adventure? <laughs> like they don't think it could really happen? Haven't they heard of Pirates of the Caribbean? The only saving grace is that if pirates got on gluttony of the seas and got between the passengers and the Windjammer Cafe, those pirates are going down. You get between me and free soft serve ice cream and 15 varieties of cookies and pastries, I am taking you out with my bare hands. You ever think about the food service workers on the cruise lines? They work seven days a week. They don't see their families for months at a time. All they're doing is making food and cleaning up after annoying passengers like me. You don't think there's some serious spitting of food going on? People, it's not the Norwalk virus we need to fear. It is human phlegm. Thank you. You've been a great audience.